everyone, it's Marissa and welcome to my studio. This is part 6 of my step-by-step -step acrylic landscape demo. And if you are just joining in and want to follow along, I'd recommend watching part 1 through 5. A supply list is in the description below and an image can be downloaded from my website. So today is all about the sky. And I'm sure you're all very excited to work on this stage. It's going to be a fun day, so let's do it. I'm starting by giving myself an idea where the sky begins. I like to put a chalk outline, which serves as my guide to indicate where the sky begins in this painting. And I'm going to use a gray with a little bit of cerulean blue as the color closer to the line. My approach to painting a landscape is not quite the traditional way. The classical way where the painting is approached from the background and moves forward. I kind of like the impressionistic way where the first to be painted is usually the main focal point. Then slowly integrating the other features and lastly the sky and the foreground. I'm also not blending here, but rather approaching the painting with dabs of color, one on top of the other, and not entirely covering what's underneath. slowly move away from uh, the bottom part where we're adding the gray try to lighten into uh, your blues and add a little bit of a value change with cerulean blue and titanium white as you get to the top part of the painting darken the cerulean blue with a little bit of purple and also a little bit of white so you have different values here from the very bottom of the sky holes to the top this will show more of the sky rather than showing a cluster of leaves At this point, I'm dealing with intuition and looking also at my photograph but trusting 
my gut feel as to where I'm going to put the sky holes. At this part, I decided to chalk in a cluster of leaves. I didn't want too much sky holes in there and I wanted to preserve that cluster of leaves to indicate that big bulk in the tree. It helps me wrap my head around where to put the negative shape. And I hope it helps you too. Use your intuition to where you want to put the uh, sky holes. Don't get so stressed out by copying the picture to a T. Just add it where you feel it needs it and just leave it be. So this is where we are going to end this session. Enjoy painting the sky. Part 7 is the final part to this series where we will finish the whole painting by tackling the foreground and adding highlights to the whole piece. Feel free to write your comments below and if you know of someone who may want to learn these techniques, please share. 
If you are new to my channel and enjoyed this video, please like and I invite you to subscribe. Please ring that bell to get notified of new videos just out for you. Again, this is Marissa Sweet. Thank you for joining me. Take care and sweet out.